And I'm Chris Chinock here for Insight Media. It is Display Week 2024. I just had a chance to talk with View Real. Uh, View Real makes a, a printing solution uh, suitable for micro LEDs, but other, other devices as well. Uh, certainly the near term focus is on printing micro LEDs. Uh, but one of the more interesting applications they're showing is a, uh, a new design for, um, for AR uh, applications, AR, AR or VR actually. Uh, and the idea here is to use a, a traditional LCOS uh, display, uh, but instead of using an LED illuminator, uh, they use a micro LED illuminator. So it's, it's essentially a, a pixelated low resolution display that's physically the same size as the LCOS panel to match uh, Aton do for optical efficiency. Uh, and, and so it becomes, uh, this becomes the, basically the, uh, the illuminator for the LCOS display, which would then go into a traditional waveguide or other uh, uh, optical system for the VR uh, or uh, AR headset. Now they said they can actually run this in three different modes. Uh, so one is as a traditional illuminator, uh, but now since it's uh, basically a pixelated illuminator, uh, you can do zone uh, zone dimming to create an HDR display. So in sense, it's kind of two levels of modulation here. Uh, so this should produce a much uh, brighter uh, LCOS display image, uh, as well as a, a higher contrast one. An HDR image should be possible with with this concept. Uh, so that's that's. Uh, obvious and really straightforward. Uh, but they can also run this in they call a kind of a low power mode, uh, in which case the LED illuminator becomes the display. So it's you trade off the lower resolution now, but now the LCOS uh, basically is just kind of a, runs almost in a static mode or a low refresh rate mode. Um, so it, you can now run this thing down to a single hertz operations for very low power consumption uh, in that regard. In the first mode, um, they're also running uh, field sequential color, so that requires faster uh, update rates for the LCOS and the, and the backlight, but that's going to be limited mainly by the, uh, the LCOS refresh rate. Uh, the third mode is what they come out call kind of, um, I'm not sure what they officially call it, but it, I, I would call it a base resolution plus an enhancement layer. Uh, so it, you kind of display two, uh, two fields. Uh, one is the a low resolution image, uh, and the second is kind of the details, the enhancement layer, if you will. Uh, this is very much a concept that's being used in, in multiple encoding schemes uh, today. So they just apply this to a, to a display solution, which is actually kind of clever. Uh, and actually I thought up a, of a fourth application, which they haven't described, which should also be possible. Uh, and that is to make the micro LED illuminator larger than the size of the LCOS panel. So the central portion of that illuminator now corresponds to the optical configuration that they just described with those three modes. But now you've got this larger area all around it, uh, which could potentially be used to be captured with another lens that perform, uh, provides kind of a peripheral view, part of a view and a wider field of view display. 